<laughs> well, I suppose I should probably actually be recording this, considering that this might... Okay, well, provided that I do it right, might actually end up going up on the channel in some way. Okay. Man. Wait for a few days there. Now, yeah, whatever. Not like it really matters. It's uh, the go away for a few days every once in a while all the time. <laughs> what I should start doing is... What I should start doing is really just, like, making sure that I only say... Do, um... A video every other day when I have it recorded. <laughs> you know? I feel like that's maybe the, um... More optimal way to do things. Stop that. Stop doing that. Yeah, it's in that loop. We're just he's doing it over and over. Probably gonna do it here right again. No? Okay, well, good enough then. Poke. All right. Well, anyway. Oh, this is the nice, simple stream to get back into the swing of things. Yes, against the optional super boss of Elden Ring. Why not? I'll be honest, I like optional super bosses. Even ones that are a little bit unfairly, stupidly hard. I don't think anybody's gonna argue that this is not a very. Nobody's <laughs> gonna argue that this is a really well designed boss, but you know. Not even because of the whole healing thing, really. Because of the one move. You know the one if you fought her. Small pokes here and there. <laughs> I can't believe I actually got it. And in fact, she should probably do that about now. About now. If she's not doing it, she's going to do it in like five seconds. Trust me. Stop it. Stop doing that. There it is. Oh, what a lovely attack. What an incredibly good attack, well designed. Definitely really feels super fair for the player and everything like that. Well, at least I finally figured out something that works, so. Yeah, you don't go anymore. Come on. Nope, don't now. Oh, it was too early. But thankfully, she stopped way too quickly. So that's okay. All right, anyway. Keep poking, really. That's why I got the lance out, after all. Yeah? I'm waiting for punishable. Oh, great. And back towards her again. But I screwed it up. Oh! Once again, what a great and well-designed attack. <laughs> Literally everything. Hey, Goth Falcon. Welcome to early morning Elden Ring. That secret stream. Don't tell anybody. It's secret. Ah, we're doing uh, the optional super boss of the game. <laughs> oh, after I've been away for a couple days. You know how that is. Look, I go away for a couple days all the time. It happens. Anyway, I'm back. <laughs> Love to stay and watch this thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go right now if you want. If you don't want to be spoiled on stuff. I, I can assure you right now, this is bad. This is bad for spoilers. Yes, yeah, Archie drops is cool. Yeah, but I mean, it's too bad that the fight is just... Ugh. It's like FromSoft at its worst, I'm going to be honest. Even though I'm still kind of having fun with it. I mean, for the most part, it's actually pretty... Too early. Ugh. For the most part, it's like not a terrible fight, even with the whole like healing aspect. I think that's actually sort of uh, interesting in how that works. It's just, holy Christ, does this shut down so many different builds and then it has that one attack. What a foul dance it's called. It's just horrible. Three gigantic AOEs that are just, that are just, well, I got Bloodhound step on right now. That's the only way you can possibly do that in melee as far as I know. I tried. What? Did you just step on? Did you just jump on top of my head? Don't Super Mario me. It's too bad I didn't see if she actually healed from that, because that would have been pretty funny if she did. 
The life the life steal I don't even mind too much. Life steal I can deal with because I mean it's just yeah it shuts down any sort of like uh you know tank and parry builds which is terrible. Like it why? <laughs> it's just that stupid waterfowl dance move that is so like it is of not You know here's the thing. Back in like Sekiro for example, they had a similar move like that. Uh, Ishin pulled it out in the Ashura route. But it's just like, man, I don't know. It's You don't have the parries as they exist. Oh, the grab. Doesn't like doing the grab to me a whole lot. I guess because... Oh, yeah. Oh. She doesn't do the grab to... Great. This move right here. Towards her. Towards her. And we're... Still, though, she still heals up quite a bit from that nonetheless. And I still take quite a bit of damage. As you do. And like that first hit, I still can't figure out how to dodge at all, period. Even with the Bloodhound Step. Bloodhound Step is quite good when it comes to making you not die to things, but... Stop it. Stop doing that. She also like to do that move like four times in a row, which is weird. Ooh, too early. Okay, but she didn't go far. Slam her into the ground, then and we'll get to having some fun. Uh, uh, there we go. Dodge, dodge. Ooh, woo. What's this? Notices an actual parry or critical damage attempt that did virtually no damage. Wow, cool stuff. Okay. Oh, that's my bad. You can try parrying. Does it work? Okay, okay. That was my bad again. I should wait until she has an actual. Okay, well, fine. Then just kill me right now. Then whatever. <laughs> Oh, see so you've returned from your milk buying trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to recover from uh, being mind broken from farts for, for about a week there. You know how that is. Does pairing actually work, though? Like, does it? Because I was looking on the wiki for, like, strategies when I could not get past the waterfowl dance. And they said it's just like, you got to pair your three times before she goes down. And it, you, you remember, <laughs> that was something that, you know, once again. Once again. This is an yet another thing that, that Death's Gambit did a lot better. They actually show you on the boss health bar how many parries it takes until they're in a, like, you know, critical mode. Mind broken. Eh, you know how it goes. It was a tough stream. Someone $3,000 poor. No, I took a few days off there, and I was just like, man, damn, man, I feel bad that I did not actually do, like, the end of the game good with, with Elden Ring and I kind of want to come back here and I'll do the stupid super boss fights that I kind of missed out on in the original playthrough. I already fought Rickard. I got Moog, Moog Modular out here too, ready to go when I'm ready to do it. Ugh. Is this where she does it four times in a row? <laughs> Alright. But it's just like, you know, of course, this is the real boss. This is the boss that everybody's just like, bad, 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 bad. And they're right. <laughs> they're totally right. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here and be like, no, 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 guys. It's a really, I'm kind of having fun with it, though. All the absolute bullshit aside. Like, seriously, I don't even mind the whole lifesteal. I think that's a, that's a, a fun part of the fight. It makes it interesting if it does completely shut down all sort of heavy shield type of builds and everything. It's just that waterfowl dance that is just so... I mean, to my play style, just the waterfowl dance. I suppose if you're playing this, like, with... Uh, there we go. I suppose if you're playing this with, like, uh, magic, it's probably a lot easier, in all likelihood. <laughs> that said, this is not going to be a successful fight. I should here comes the uh, waterfowl dance, by the way. About 75% health. Nope, still not good enough. And the only way I'm doing that is with the weapon art. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm using the weapon art for. Otherwise, I got some more effective weapon arts that I can be using. And then, of course, like everything else in the game, you can just kind of take her down with Mimic Tear easy enough if you want to. But I don't want to. Even with the Life Steal, you can actually go through that just stun locking her because she's got a tiny amount of poise. She's got tiny baby poise. Nope. And 
Like that is, I don't, I don't know what they were thinking with that. Ah. I don't know what they were thinking with that move. Ah, you know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Just take me down already. Oh, yeah, with a grab. Sure. <laughs> you want some tips for the anime slash? Yeah, what do you got? This is the planted bed of chaos and what the fuck you thinking? Well, bed of chaos, we all know, was an unfinished boss. They had a much better... They had a much better... Um, ah, ah idea for the boss where it was actually gonna like walk around and try to attack you and stuff you know basically be a big a big um thing <laughs> but you know how that is ball dance run directly back into the fourth jump and then run under her and dodge backwards dad i have tried the old runaway tactic and i'll, I'll do it here again but let me tell you it's just like when am i supposed to be able to attack then that, that would work for a magic run if you want to try and stay away, stay far away from her, but that's about it. Yeah? No, just that? Let's get out into the middle of the arena, by the way. Oop. Well, if you want to give me some punishable attacks, that's okay, too. Excuse me. If you're too show uh, close when she anime jumps, yes, and I'm playing as a melee character with a cool, with a cool lance. I don't know if you notice this. Look at this lance. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I decided that after all the um, horse play that I was doing before, that using the literal lance is, you know, of course, the only way to fly, right? Okay, fine. Disengage, then. Also, she disengages, like, constantly, so having a nice long-range weapon is not bad at all. <laughs> Which is kind of the entire real reason why I ended up using this. Kick. Slam. Oh, I missed the slam. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. See, and then you can punish. And then you can disengage and try not to get hit by anything stupid because she still has a lot of super arm. Uh, she still has super armor on a lot of her moves. Ugh, too early. I can feel it. I can feel that timing. Now she's about to waterfall dance again. Oh yeah, I should remember that that does have two parts. I'm gonna go for the third hit, stupidly, and then I was punished for that in kind. <laughs> no, no, I'm just gonna hit her out of pad attack. Screw it. Yeah, just run away, guys. Just run away. <laughs> See, and that's why you can't do it like that, I'm telling you. It's like, it's, it is it is a ridiculously stupid attack. <laughs> it, it is exactly the, yeah, the fuck you thinking from soft. Yeah. Try to keep stamina above 50% when you know Foul Dance is coming. What, what would stamina being above 50% do for me? <laughs> kind of just, um, ridiculous. Fought around one of the builds with two-hand colossal weapon, even after the anime slash doing a jumping attack to get the get in range for the final attack, she can still dodge it. That doesn't surprise me at all. She's got a lot of the thing is she has got low poise, but a lot of disengagement attacks. Blah. Shouldn't just run in and try to get a, a well, poke in there. Then bonk, bonk. Ugh, I gotta stop getting hit because there's actually a lot of you know issues when it comes to getting hit in this fight compared to most it's not just a it's not just as simple as like a little bit of um health lost sprint with stamina i am i'll try it again but i am telling you unless there is a strategy that i am just not seeing <sighs> oh come on I, that was so bad I should have been farther away. I mean, that's a point in time when I would actually just like to use the Bloodhound step for actual defensive purposes, but... Is she going to do it four times in a row again? No? Okay. Man, I'm dodging slowly here. I got to get back in the swing of things, baby. Yeah. 
man, that was... It's a good thing that the weird uh, elevation issues in this arena make it so that she'll actually miss quite a few of her lunges. But uh, otherwise, I screwed up so many times there over and over. You gotta do this pretty well. I mean, it is a, it is the optional super boss of the game, after all. Oop, there we go. That's a question. Okay. Oh, again, too early. Too early. Stop getting hit. Well, the problem with shields... Here. Um, you'll see this when she does this attack right here. Observe her health. Look at her health right now. <laughs> see how it's going up and, like, really rapidly... She'll heal about 25% of her health if she if you um, block all of her attacks with a shield. It's absurd. <laughs> and that's why, like, shield builds don't work at all in this fight. It's terrible. You are closer, closer than that. You have to block it. Whatever. Very specific roles and angles. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'll just make sure that I stay very far away with my melee build. It's an extraordinarily poorly designed fight for melee. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty much what it is. What is your level? Like, a lot. <laughs> this one I wasn't uh, messing around. 146. Um. Okay. I can take down virtually every other boss in the game, like, trivially. Like, they're jokes. Because people warned me. It's just like they said, this is the hard one. This is the optional super boss. More so than just about any other other enemy that exists in the game. So it's like, yeah, I'm going to prepare for this one as much as I can. Well, I do need to actually hit her to do damage, as you know. It's just shocking because I don't know if I've ever seen, like... You know, there have been fights that don't work as well in melee before. And she ends the fight with full health. <laughs> anyway, uh... It's just, um... What was I saying here? Uh, yeah, there have been fights that don't work very well in melee. I think about, like, uh, the, the Smelter Demon, for example. But not one that is just this, like, terrible <laughs> for melee. And it wouldn't even be that bad if she didn't have that waterfowl dance. And you can see, it's a it's a tough fight, but you can very much learn most of the attacks very well. Except for waterfowl dance. That's the only one that it's like, I have an Ash of War specifically to give me an improved dodge, just so I can dodge the second and third parts of it. Not even the first part of it, because I don't know how to dodge the first part of it. Does not seem to... Like, I can... I, aside from, yeah, stay at... Use use long distance like spells and faith stuff. That's the only like advice that there is, seems to be for to not get hit by things. Really? Oh. No. That said, like I said, I'm still kind of having fun with the fight. I mean, aside from the really unfair stuff, it's like as long as she doesn't use wa waterfall dance like five times in a row, I feel like I can do it. By the way, she has a second phase. If you don't know. As soon as you uh. Hmm? Nope. Still screwed it up. As soon as you down her health bar once, she uh, re-ups it. <laughs> and you go one more time with more stuff. But at least it's not a completely separate boss like the final boss. I just want to want to make you aware of that if you think I'm even getting close to finishing the fight. Trust me, I'm not. Hmm? I swear when you try and attack her after she does the, uh, the multi-slash... Then she will go into a... I'm going to get her more into the middle of the arena. Uh, then she'll go into, a, a, like, the, the super armor attack, which is annoying. I mean, the healing is not even that bad. I can deal with the healing. It's like, well, well especially because I have the, the blood. I have, like, a blood lance right now, as you can see. All right. So it's just like, I can deal a decent amount of damage to her. And here it comes. What a... Just... Man, I tell you. Man, the Lance is a fun weapon. I was ever going to do like another run or something in this game again. Which, I've been having a lot more fun. Nope. 
such a slow attack. Especially compared to everything else she can dish out. As with a lot of Elden Ring bosses, she does spend it <sighs> too slow. to spend an awful lot of time pacing towards you. But frankly, I just expect that at this point. And here it comes again! <sighs> Heals are up quite a bit too if I get hit by that. Can I go for the three? No, I can't go for the three, but I did it anyway. If I could just, if I had the FP to actually do the Bloodhound step after she went for the multi hit, that would be a lot better. Stunning though. Yeah, the attack is very anime. They did almost the exact same attack. Uh, Ishin, uh, no, no, it's called One Mind. One Mind, used by Ishin Ashina in the Ashura route. It was pretty cool there. <laughs> in some ways, sort of disappointing that they're just kind of reusing it again, but we are talking from South here. Well, should come as uh, no surprise that they do such a thing. Okay, she's doing the use it four times in a row thing again. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her go. You gonna do it again? One more time, even? Okay, come on now. At least that attack is very punishable once you get the timing down. It's slow. <sighs> it's slow. It's real slow. But it is punishable, at least. Mostly. Come on now. I don't know why I went in on that attack. That was extremely ill-advised. <laughs> whatever. Man, yeah, this ain't gonna be a successful run, but whatever, you know. More, um, more, uh, fuel for the fire. Maybe I should try going in on her more after she goes for the, uh, the multi-attack. Yeah, when she runs directly into me, that's when she's going to hit me with her, uh, what would you even call it? Uh, uh, knee. Knee strike. More, more, uh, practice runs here. Treat it as that. Man, I am... Doing the four times in a row thing. The knee attack, by the way, does have super armor on it. Ah, screw it. Just kill me right now. Oh, okay. Ah. Hey, you're alive. Where have you been? I was I was uh, mind broken by farts for a few days. No, I had a, a, a what do you call it? Um. What what would you, what would you call it? Like a depressive episode, except for anxiety. You know, <laughs> it's, um, there's got to be a phrase for that sort of thing. So, yeah, I was just kind of out for a few days. Oh, whatever it happens, you know. One of those things where it's just like, oh, for, for fuck's sake, I just had like a bunch of these at the end of last year. <laughs> Can't believe I'm still doing this. Boss in this game were, divi were designed with Sekiro or Bloodborne attack movement. I wouldn't even say that. It was just, it's designed with, um, with summons in mind. Although this fight, I don't know how you would be able to do summons because, you know, it would just, they, they can't, summons can't tank things in this fight because that just results in her healing. You can stun lock her if you use like a mimic tier, but that's not a very interesting way to do this fight, you know? It's like, yeah, sure, I can literally just go end this fight like on, and eh, probably still take a couple more tries, but, oh, too early. I'll probably still take a couple more tries, but I can do it. Easily, easy enough. Extended anxiety attack? No, it's not an anxiety attack. It's, it, it's because, you know, that implies like a lot more extreme sort of stuff. Oh, too early again. Like, I see that. Like, I see that and then I just keep going in on it poorly. I don't know why. 
I can probably also just do this a lot more rather than going for... Eh, no, it keeps... It, it leaves me pretty vulnerable. That's why I don't want to do that. No, I remembered why I... I had thought of that exact strategy before, but then didn't do it. <sighs> okay. Oh, good. Well, if she has a long recovery like that attack... Uh oh. And this should definitely put her in range of being able to do Waterfall Dance. So, look for that. It's literally the only attack that really matters in this fight. And there it is. Well, <laughs> yeah. And sometimes it just doesn't do. I, don't, I think I'm probably just hitting it too late. But, you know, that does mean that I die. <laughs> Doing optional stuff in an open world game. I felt bad that... I felt bad that, you know, I did just kind of cheat my way through a lot of the boss fights. So I'm going back and I'm doing some of the... Some, some of the um, optional stuff that I didn't really do before. Specifically the, uh, the, the other d d rune bosses. I already got a, a video on Rickard, so... And then I also got Moog Modular ready to go at any point in time. Oh, for God's sake! I, this is... D one of the worst fucking things about using a PS4 is that... Yeah, you'll just kind of, like, accidentally do an em emote or something. Happened so much in Bloodborne. Okay, okay, okay. Start an attack when she's going into the air. You're never dodging that shit ever. Well, yeah, obviously, but that's why, you know. They give you a pretty good amount of time when she's in the air to react to it. Not to not to run away from it or actually, like, dodge it. But at least, you know, get out of an attack. Which is why I'm doing this whole... Oh, just kill me right now. That was a terrible start. Um... You know, uh, what was I saying here? Uh, like, I can get it. <laughs> I can, I can react to that. I can react to that just fine. It's just, I don't know how to react to it aside from this one strategy. It's the only thing that I have. By the way, I saw Land of Oddities. Had to search for a walkthrough two times. Oh, which ones? Because uh, there's a lot of fun stuff in Land of Oddities. That's the one that actually has the back keyword, by the way. Which is the one with... Um, Definitely the uh, the boss where most people struggle. I've seen a lot of people. I don't know. I would almost say that most people struggle on most of the bosses in the game. They're all pretty difficult if you're not, uh, you know, abusing some of the really overpowered summons. It's just... And, you know, of course, I think it's... It shuts down so many builds. It shuts down so many builds. You want to go parries? You want to go big shielding? Too bad. You want to go summons? Except for, you know, the most overpowered ones possible? Too bad again! You want to go melee entirely if you're not using Bloodhound Step? Too bad! <laughs> Which is... Okay, come on. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, you're doing this thing again where she keeps pacing back and forth. I want to get her more into the middle of the arena, so let's do this. What's the consistent way to dodge the Waterfowl Dance? That's, that's my question. Because this dodges the second two parts of the Waterfowl Dance, the Bloodhound Step, but not the first part. first part still has way too gigantic of a hitbox for me. Probably one more. Oh, I think one more hit would be able to bleed her here. I do have the blood thing on the lance, by the way. Yes, I am using bleeding. I do know bleeding actually does help. <sighs> I don't know. I probably didn't need to heal there. It's just, eh. There we go. Yeah. As long as you don't do that fourth... I forgot that there is actually a chair in here. <laughs> Alright, that's where she was sitting. Keep on doing it. There we go. That's a nice punishable. No more than two hits in, though. Anyway, uh, what was I saying here? This attack. This one right here. See, I can do the first, uh, second and third parts of it, but not the first part. That's where I struggle. 
And all I've found is that Bloodhound Step helps. It helps with the second two parts, but not the first two parts. And there we are. Sorcery is really OP. Ah, oh, yeah, I know. But I also, you know, I'll say this. I also just took out the Mimic tier at one point, and we just kind of stun-locked her and kept bleeding her. Duh. Over and over, got to like the second phase so trivially that I was just like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna purposely die here just not to cheat this fight. <laughs> Cause it's like, I don't, I don't want to cheat the fight. I want to do the fight proper. Well, and yes, I know the boss doesn't do the fight proper, but whatever. I'm gonna try at least. Oh, uh, too early. I saw it. And then, then yeah, she's doing. The okay. I'll wait until. Well, here. No, okay, she's she's in a punish. <laughs> she's in a punish loop. I've seen her do this before. I also see she's gotten back most of her health here. It's smart AI, but also annoying. Which I don't even know if it's intentional AI or it's just something they do. Because, yeah, it takes long enough to heal that she's able to uh, get off her dash over and over like that. He's level one killing her because he can parry. I can't parry though. I'm so bad at parrying. I told you this, that like I've never fought Gwyn doing the whole like parry cheese that apparently everybody else who ever played Dark Souls did. I always did it like proper because I c can't parry in these games. Come on. Okay, that'll work. Now, of course, I'm looking very bad, considering that... <sighs> I'm looking very bad, considering that, you know, she's already healed up pretty much all the health that I've done to her, but still. <laughs> ah, whatever. Let's keep going. More practice. Fuel for the fire. Once again, if only I had a slight bit more. Oh, great. Well, yep, then I didn't. And yeah, I screwed up doing the uh, the dodge that time. It didn't go off. Wait, what happened to your PC? Huh? Nothing happened to my PC. What do you mean? Ah. Oh. Anyway, what are you saying here? Uh, I played this as a sorcerer. Da, da, da. Run away, but I can't run away. I'm right next. You could, you saw right in that in that part of the fight. Look, I can keep trying to run away if you want me to, but I'm like, I'm almost always literally right next to her when I'm tr when she starts up that attack. Sprint directly back when she poses. I'll try it, but like I, I have not gotten that to work yet. Okay. Wanna go for any more hits there in that combo? I really gotta just dodge twice when I see that. It might even be worth it to try and like dodge the side or whatever, but like, ow. I'll take like the one or two hits that I usually get there at most. Doesn't deal that much damage. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Uh, your game list says PC cannot play. It's not good enough. <laughs> it's it's bad. <laughs> it's a bad PC. It's it's a 2015 graphics card. There are just some games that do not run on my computer. <laughs> That's the only thing. I like. Uh, d does do you have? Okay, you got something with apparently like guys parrying her or whatever. What can you show me a video of somebody running away from her when she starts it up when they're right next to them? I want to see a video of that. I want to see what it looks like.
Because I'll try it. I will try it until it works. Because whatever. I mean, we're just doing, like, practice rounds for the most part. And our second phase doesn't actually change up that much after all. There we are. Thanks for doing the punishable move. Now one less punishable. Now, can I get out into the middle of the arena, please? Oh, well. If you're going to keep letting me punish you for that, I suppose that's okay, too. Ah, too early! Why do I keep doing that too early? I know what the time is. There we are. All right, here we go. As soon as I'm as soon as I'm kind of in the water, I know I'm in a good position to actually start dodging stuff. I like that she literally runs into you before she starts up the knee attack. It's as if she thinks that she has like contact damage or something. Ah, I haven't seen the grab for a while. <laughs> sure. Okay. Now she's in a. Well, that was my bad. Should be using Waterfall Dance any time now, and then we can check it out. I'm going to try and get in a place where I can actually run to. Ah. Well, provided that I'm not about to just die here anyway. Okay. Give me a second, I'll look at the video. Maybe she just won't do a waterfall dance here. Or maybe I'm just gonna keep getting hit by everything possible. Uh, no, that's not it. I, uh, I keep trying to look for it. Let me see. Let me take a look at what this looks like here. By the way, the stream I dropped.